is workers' comp an offset for Social Security? My name is Bilal Kassel, Managing Partner at Pacific Workers, and today I'm going to cover the differences and the overlap between the two benefits. When you receive Social Security disability, it means that you are disabled and cannot work again. Social Security is different than Social Security retirement because Social Security retirement is something that you pay into and is a retirement benefit that's administered based on your earnings and contributions over the years, which is different than Social Security disability, which isn't about retirement, it means you're physically unable to work. This is different than workers' comp because workers' comp is a benefit that's paid for by private insurance when you're injured specifically at work versus Social Security disability you may be entitled to for a variety of different reasons, whether or not it's related to your work exposure and or injury. So if you are in a position where you receive workers' comp benefits and those workers' comp benefits are part and parcel of why you're receiving Social Security disability, you may have to deal with what's called an offset, meaning that Social Security disability wants credit for the amount that you receive from workers' comp for a labor disabling injury. Typically, this comes into play when you receive larger permanent disability awards for things like a life pension, which means that you have a disability rating of 70% or more, and that benefit is gonna extend throughout the duration of your time that you would otherwise be working, mainly with Social Security disability, meaning the age of 65. And so when you settle a work comp case, you have to be careful of the offset. And we include usually something called a Hartman formula, which means that we stretch out the value of your permanent disability over your lifetime, rather than just to 65, which is the age that Social Security disability cuts off, in order to reduce that credit as much as possible. Again, these credit issues can be complex and you wanna make sure you're well equipped, which means hiring a lawyer to make sure when you are settling a workers' comp case, you're minimizing that offset as much as possible to maximize both the benefits you receive from Social Security disability as well as workers' comp.